For the first time since March, Taylor Swift hit the stage to perform at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction ceremony on October 30. She was in attendance to pay tribute to Carole King. Taylor Swift was on hand to induct Carole King into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame on October 30. The singer, 31, kicked off the 2021 induction ceremony with a performance of Will You Still Love Me Tomorrow? which was originally co-wrote and performed by Carol. The hitmaker also gave a speech celebrating the iconic singer, who is only the third female artist in music history to be inducted twice into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I grew up dancing around the living room in socked feet to the sounds of Carol's soulful voice, her infectious melodies and lyrics that I, a seven-year-old, thought had been crafted for my exact, specific life experience," Taylor said. I listen to Carol's music now and feel that same tingle of recognition. After keeping a low profile for the last several months, Taylor came back in a big way for this performance. She looked stunning, wearing a lace cat suit by Sarah Regensberger and boots by Louis Vuitton. Her look was complete with her hair styled in loose curls. Back in 2019, Carol actually presented Taylor with the Artist of the Decade Award at the American Music Awards. Taylor performed a medley of her hits at the show and accepted the honor from the legendary singer. Now, she'll get to return the favor to Carol, who is being inducted along with the Foo Fighters, Tina Turner, The Go-Go's, Jay-Z, Todd Rundgren, Kraftwerk, Charlie Patton, Gil Scott Heron, LL Cool J, Billy Preston, Randy Rhodes and Clarence Avon. Related Gallery Taylor Swift's Sexiest Photos The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame appearance came just 13 days before the release of Taylor's next album, Red. Taylor's version. It will be the singer's second past album that she re-recorded in order to own the masters herself. In addition to the songs that appeared on the original album, Taylor's version has nine new songs, as well as the full, 10-minute version of fan-favorite track All Too Well. Two of the newly added songs are Better Man and Babe, which were previously recorded by Little Big Town and Sugarland, respectively. Taylor previously released the Taylor's version of Fearless in April 2021. There are still four more albums, Taylor Swift, Speak Now, 1989 and Reputation, that she is planning on re-recording. She already owns the masters to her three most recent albums, Lover, Folklore, and Evermore. With less than two weeks to go until Red's re-release, Taylor has yet to tease the record by dropping any songs beforehand so it could very well be a total surprise on release day, November 12th.